welcome back so let us start with the uh, beginning of module 4 module 4 we will discuss about the uh, python and uh, how to use python in databricks so as part of the first video in this module let, let us understand few basic concepts so before uh, proceeding uh, if you are new to this channel and haven't yet subscribed for this channel we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press the bell button for instant notification so let's get uh, started so in this uh, video we will uh, briefly discuss uh, or we will see uh, in practical uh, uh, how to use python strings what are the different uh, print statements uh, how to use python variables and how to use uh, functions and what is f strings so all these uh, we will uh, go in detail uh, in databricks uh, how do we use this operation uh, with respect to python so let's directly jump to the practicals of it so basically uh, when you talk about python using python in databricks uh, it is nothing but uh, how do you actually uh, kind of uh, interact uh, python with sql basically in the databricks uh, it is a beautiful combination of uh, uh, python pyspark and uh, spark sql so all these uh, kind of these are not, uh, I mean, this can be worked uh, and integrated basically. So that means uh, whenever you're working with PySpark, you can um, put, the uh, put the data into the Spark SQL, right? Uh, that is Databricks SQL. And uh, similarly, you can read from Spark SQL and uh, write, uh, do some operation in uh, PySpark and uh, Python. So then again, put it back to the uh, uh spark sql uh, tables uh, or data, uh, databricks tables so that's the beauty of using exchanging the logic between a sql and python and uh, how do we do that so uh, and this exchange can be easily done with the tables and temporary views so basically uh, there will be a databricks table uh, where you write the data into and then perform some databricks uh, a SQL operation and then write it back to the table and uh, the Python can similarly use that uh, uh, execute that uh, table using Spark SQL so that is the beauty of using it and before going into those complex complex operation in this video let us see some basic operations of uh, Python so to start with a very basic one as you can see a string can be encoded with uh, single quotes or double quotes so I can try with single quotes as well here if you can see so it basically prints out what is being displayed as part of this enclosed uh, string right also uh, you can uh, use a basic cup uh, or uh, the famous uh, print uh, statement uh, so it is just a print and then uh, in a bracket you can just give the print statement and it executes uh, as it is and displays the string also if your uh, string is in multiple uh, lines as you can see here your string is distributed in multiple lines uh, so definitely then uh, you should use uh, triple quotes uh, starting with triple quotes and the ending with triple quotes uh, and then uh, so this this is what it uh, uh, exactly displays right So now let us try to understand uh, uh, basically how to kind of uh, execute uh, the SQL tables so that are data in Databricks and get the result. So to do that if I just do a select star from a particular table and if I try to print it uh, so it just print it as a string. So it actually don't parse it right. So you don't understand it is uh, to uh, execute it as a, as a SQL statement. So just print as. Similarly, if you execute uh, uh, spark.sql here, so then it uh, and uh, enclosed with uh, say any uh, query for that matter, right? Because uh, you cannot just uh, use, uh, you cannot just uh, print the SQL statement to get the output. Uh, uh, in spite of that, uh, so instead of that, uh, you should be using uh, something called as spark.sql. So spark.sql, uh, you are using instead of print, uh, so that you are actually trying to execute uh, the query here. 
but however you are still not getting the result so you are just getting the uh, converted version uh, i mean you're just getting the acknowledgement by saying that the statement is executed because it says the data frame test of int that means it is returning some integer value uh, within the data frame but it is not displaying the actual result so to display the actual result what we should do so let us try with the uh, of statement and try to execute this right so now if you can see you are getting the result required result here that is select one as test so you're getting the that means your uh, query is executing so now if the query is executing so you can use any kind of spark sql here you can use a select star from a table you can do a joins whatever operation you want to perform on the sql you can perform it and then it displays in the result as uh, as in the tabular format Now let us understand uh, regarding Python variables. So unlike any other programming languages, uh, Python is also having a concept of variable where you just use the assignment operator uh, to kind of assign a particular uh, value to a variable. So you can assign a string, you can assign an integer. So you can, like similarly, as you can assigning a string here, so you can just execute the string here, right? Similarly, I can assign an uh, integer value also, right? So that that is just uh, I mean what do you assign whether you want to assign string integer or list for that matter so I can um, assign a list as well something like this right or it can be string of list also so basically whatever you want to assign uh, you can assign as a variable so the main thing here is uh, it should be a assignment operator and then there should be a variable name for that is a defined variable name for that, yeah and also a variable name uh, can start with a letter uh, basically need to start with a letter and can, can contain uh, numbers letters anything and it can also have a underscore right um, so finally when you kind of a uh, uh, how do you print it right so just uh, you can just uh, give my underscore string or whatever the variable is and execute. So no need to uh, append keywords like print or something. So it will just give the result. Also, you can use a print statement as well. Uh, so print um, uh, my string and it actually prints the particular string that is assigned to the variable. Also, when you are printing, uh, the variable can join the, the particular string. So like this, uh, you can see uh, as you can see it is like a concatenation string concatenation where uh, there will be a, a variable however along with that uh, you can use a plus operator and then attach a string uh, along with that suppose like if you want to attach a string at the last also you can attach the string so once you print it so basically it uh, prints that uh, particular variable along with the along with this uh, uh, whatever the strings that is being attached so as you can see this is the string and uh, so uh, then it, it uh, gives the value that is the value of my string is this is a string and then at the final again it says this is new string and okay. finally uh, string can also be a particular variable can be concatenated with another variable so how do we compare two variables so th this is a new string this is a second variable and the first one was my string was the first uh, string so both are concatenated and then you can see uh, both the both the values are displayed at the so next is uh, functions right so in python uh, <coughs> so we can use uh, functions uh, uh, sp uh, specifying as you can see so this is our function right uh, so it starts with the def and then followed by a function name uh, and then this is a local variable that is being uh, used or a parameter you can call and then what exactly do inside so that will be followed by a colon and then in the new line whatever uh, the statements that you queue so that will be executed as part of the function body And now let us try to call this function right uh, print underscore string was a function that we defined when we pass the parameter so whatever the parameter is passed uh, will be 
displayed. So that's a simple example of a function. How can you? Similarly, instead of starting uh, passing a string directly, you can pass variable also to a function. And the variable that we had was this is a string, and that variable we have passed, and the function is supposed to uh, return that particular string as it is. So it has returned. So many a times uh, you might want to uh, return a result of, of from a particular function, right? So then uh, you use a return as a keyword in that function, basically, as you can see here. And uh, so return when you are doing a return, you take a string. And attach uh, that string with the uh, user-defined uh, some uh, some uh, string here, and then return that along with that concatenation. So that is how you can define a function and then execute that function, right? And if you try to execute the same function, return new string. So foo bar. So it returns. So the string passed to this function was foo bar because as you can see that in the function that we defined, where it was returning. The Foo bar as it is along with this user defined string. Also, the output of uh, the function can be assigned to another variable. So, these are all the basic things uh, in, in Python, right? So, basically, f strings uh, uh, can be used typically when you want to inject or when you want to. Uh, add a particular uh, variable in between a string right so in that case uh, you define as a f string so here if you see there is no need of uh, adding plus or concatenation any kind of symbol you just need to use uh, the braces brace open brace close and when you are doing that uh, so you can use f string and uh, so it's just a flower bracket f uh, string means you can consider it as a flower bracket string where you can specify your string in the flower bracket and then it executes i can substitute this is a string here you can compare the output uh, finally you can use uh, something complicated little complicated right so you can uh, basically in the flower bracket that you are using a string uh, you can also get the returned value of a function and then display it so it's nothing but uh, it is not like you have to put a variable only inside this flower bracket you can put the function call also in the flower bracket and the re result will be considered as a variable for the for this flower bracket and then it is displayed here as you can see after like the string is passed to this function was foo bar here so kill uh, foo bar basically and then at the last here is here okay So finally, let's try to display. Uh, let's try to define a multi-line variable here. And when you are defining multi-line variable, so we are trying to uh, understand. Uh, so you have to start with the triple quotes and end with triple quotes. Also, we are mixing the f string here, right? By specifying f, that means uh, you are telling that your particular string that you are defining uh, can contain another string which is enclosed by the flower prices so this is a i mean this is an example where there is a combination of uh, three things first is how do you define a string second thing is how do you define a multi-line string and third thing is how do you define an f string so re these are the three concepts that you are already seeing in this uh, string definition and the fourth thing that you can also see is uh, how do you call the function and then attach that function within that f string so then finally you can print that statement you can see i can have many lines of this text with a variable substitution and then a variable this is a string a function output this passed to the first foo bar so this is a final output so this is a function output that is returned from this particular call function call so hope uh, this uh, basic concepts of python uh, so these are very basic concept if you are any programming languages you know so these are the very basic concepts uh, to understand right and uh, thanks for watching